Well, and Big Dave here from Family Dream Homes of Bowling Green. Just wanted to welcome you in. We're going to take another exciting tour of a champion home. Uh, it's called The Pursuit. It's built out of Champion Homes of Dresden, Tennessee. This home features 1,600 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, a split den, full drywall. You're not going to miss this tour, so stick around. Welcome in, everybody. So glad to have you today. As always, if you like what you see here, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Share it with your friends. Let them know about it. Uh, that will help us get the channel out there and let people know what's going on. Just kind of panning across the front here, letting you see these lineals again, and the grids and the windows. Champion does a really, really nice job with those. Kind of look up here at this dormer coming around. That board and bat siding that we talked about, how much it really accents the front. And you can order this house and make all kinds of different color changes to it. They have their own selection of stuff that you can do to it and kind of personalize it and make it your own. Love those porch lights, that dormer up there. Like I said, with that little eyebrow and everything, it just kind of breaks it up. So it looks really, really good. Um, this shake right here, I highlighted it in my last video. This right here has got your navel blue color. So it's got that nice dark navy blue look to it so it looks really really good I'll pan around here to the other side coming across this is the master bedroom and take a little peek in there nice 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 you're going to get to see more here in just a minute i promise all right we're going to come around the side here kind of tight around the back so this ought to be interesting see this big boy get between these trees in this house so uh, if i fall nobody laugh too mad okay all right around back here There's your windows coming off of your master bath right there you can see those well I'll tell you what these trees make a nice bit of shade for you got your dryer vent right there coming out there's your fresh water connections in case you were wondering plumbing stuff all that good stuff down there electrical connection right there got a storm door on the back with a nine light window in it porch light right there very good got water spigot a lot of people ask me if these are standard some builders they are some builders they're not it just depends kind of on the builder um, but a lot of your counties and states require them so something to think about when you're setting one of these up that you may have to have a plumber do that now, these sliding glass doors right here are coming off the dining room it looks really really amazing that's a lot of natural light into the house as you can see right there we'll go over there in just a minute we'll go jeez y'all like my kids sometimes i gotta be so impatient you know as again we got receptacles back here it's all covered up keep you out of the weather and elements very nice coming off the extra den i'm gonna tell you more about that here in just a minute as we get in there you're not gonna want to miss it i'll stick around all right here we are back to the front let's go inside and take a tour Coming into the house right here. Just look at this view. I'm gonna kind of pan around here for you to take a look. See all this open space, a lot of windows, a lot of natural light coming in. As you can see, beautiful kitchen island. Oh, so much to feature in this house. I'm gonna to have to really take my time here for you. Beautiful tray ceiling, ceiling fan. Kind of a modern that black flat flat black kind of look to it really looks amazing let me just pan around here for you so we're going to come around here i'm just going to come around and stay on this wall right here for you two by six walls grid windows thermal pane double pane easy clean windows we dress up our homes over here at, at the dream homes lot in bowling green um, we like to kind of showcase what the houses could look like uh, with your own stuff in it to give you kind of an idea 
Also got your crown moldings as always with Champion Homes here. Beautiful. Kind of pan around. Dining room right here. If you're looking right out those windows, imagine that sunlight and looking out over the back of your property and kids playing, pond, wildlife, you, you name it. It'd be, it's so awesome. It gives you a lot of nice, nice view. All right. So we're going to come down here. Going to come into bedroom. The first bedroom we come to right down the hallway here. I'm going to stop saying bedroom number one because the print says differently and I'm always messing it up. So <laughs> Nice size bedroom. Full drywall, crime moldings, of course. Got your can lighting in there. Closet. If I'm a betting man, they got stuff inside of it. Yep. What do you know? Shingles. Nice shelving right there. We'll come back around here and back out. Yeah, there's the guest bath. We'll get there in a minute. We'll get there in a minute. Coming down here. Yes, this is the den area. I will highlight that in just a second. Coming into this other bedroom right here. Second guest bedroom. This is the bigger of the two guest bedrooms. There's the closet right there. As always, I'll be posting the room sizes for both these rooms for you. Come back out here into the secondary den area this area right here is an awesome flex room you can be utilized it can be turned into a fourth bedroom if you need it if you need an extra space just for the kids a gaming area this is a built-in entertainment center you do not have to have it you can also swap it out with a fireplace or something along that lines uh, they have a lot of different options for you to look at you can pan around here we can see it all kind of where it looks like i'm in the bush very nice Got a ceiling fan back here. Got nice can lights. Got four of them in the ceiling. So it really kind of accents the room. And then you have these beautiful windows coming off the back right here. They're really, really lit in all this natural light. Me and this tree is going to fight. Let me tell you. <laughs> all right. We're going to come out of here. Pan back down towards the main part of the house. And right here we have your guest bathroom. Of course, got your exhaust fan. Got the nice little transom window over the top of the shower right there. So it's in that natural light. Yeah, the room will be dark. Let me shut the lights off so you can see what I'm talking about. Even with the lights off in that bathroom, still got a lot of natural light. So it looks really, really good. Kind of gives you a nice feel for it. All right. Come down here also to the sink. Got your flat black fixtures. Mirror right here. All right. We'll come out of this bathroom. Go back into there into the main part of the house right here, back to your dining area. When I go up here and walk up towards these, this sliding glass door, excuse me, I can't talk today, apparently. And then another tree, so. <laughs> nice sliding glass doors. Really gives you a nice, nice view out the back. Really nice, and these are not, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but these are a vinyl. Um, these are very heavy, heavy duty door. They, uh, they're not thin by no means. They're thick and they're double painted as well, so you're not going to lose any energy out of them. You know, it's going to be very efficient for you. All right. Got the refrigerator right here. With our lowest price guarantee, don't forget. Also, you can enter to win a 75-inch TV when you come see me. You don't want to miss that stuff. That's good stuff right there. Got cabinet storage over top of the fridge. Got your built-in. I'm going to take a second. I'm going to highlight some of these little things, little features like this. Isn't that cool? It looks, it, you would think kind of from the, maybe from the, the, the video, it looks like it's dirty, but it's not. It's actually got these little bubbles inside the glass. It's a really, really cool look to it. Beautiful large island for a lot of, a lot of work. Like, you know, you can get out here and roll dough out. Just, I mean, good for serving food for big parties. All right here, you have your microwave built in. Got these nice tall cabinets. I want you to look at this cabinet right here on top of this microwave. All the way to the ceiling. And these are deep. These are deep, deep cabinets. Like I said, my arm, I can't even reach the back. So, very nice. I'm not going to want to miss the opportunity to put some stuff in there, that's for sure. Microwave, built in. It's a good deep microwave. A lot of people say, well, they look like they're real big. 
they are deeper microwaves right here. So they've got plenty of space in there to put a lot of goodies. You can circle around here, back behind me to this island. Look at all these drawers. Drawer over cabinet, everywhere you go. Um, it looks really, really nice in this kitchen. Kind of helps it flow. Very workable space. Everything's close together, but not like right on top of each other. So I know some of the biggest complaints I get from, from people in, in, in general about kitchens is you have one item way across the room then you have your refrigerator way over here and then you got your dishwasher way over there it, it just, just doesn't make sense you know it's really hard to kind of work when you're in there cooking and you're kind of trying to get back and forth to things uh it really makes it nice when things are close together we can get to it beautiful different style hood now this is not the euro hood this is just a stainless steel kind of vented hood right here goes all the way up tile backsplash goes all the way to the ceiling behind this you can see it, see the crown moldings up there and it comes down all the way around. Nice stainless smooth top stove. Of course, my favorite sink, man, I love this sink. This sink is just so cool. It's got all these nice little gadgets with it. There's the cutting board. Of course, your 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 strainer, your, your drying rack, Springer faucet on it. Just beautiful. Nice dishwasher right here. Got your corner cabinets up top. Like we talked about in the other one. Champion's really good about that. Like I said, these are nice and deep. Plenty of room for storage, for spice racks. I mean, just, just anything that you need to put back here, you're going to have plenty of storage. My house right now that I live in does not have as much storage as this. So that's kind of, I'm kind of jealous. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all done with the kitchen? Think we're good? Think we need to kind of move around to something else now? Oh, other thing I want to show you, receptacles, those GFI receptacles, come around here, receptacle, 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 receptacle. So you shouldn't have any problems plugging in your stuff and having enough room for all your gadgets. And you need over here on this island, right here, if my machine ever get there, receptacle. So usable space, you can sit there and do homework, work on your computer. You can plug in your crock pots, cookers, digital thermostat right there. All right, we're going to go in here to the utility room. All right, whole house shut off. Y'all heard, heard me talk about that. There it is in this house. Very nice. Got some nice storage racks here above you. Easy access to your plumbing work down there in the bottom with the little panels. Right here, you get your furnace. Nine light back door that we seen when we was outside a while ago. Over here you get your breaker box. Coming around to the side. Over here, got your water heater. It's out in the open, but it's behind that panel right there, so it's easy to access. You're not in like a closet somewhere trying to battle with it, so it's a lot easier. All right, we're gonna come on around. Back out of here. Those beautiful champion doors. Can't beat those. I love those doors. Y'all are going to start giving me comments telling me it sounds like a broken record, I know. But hey, when you find something you like, you know, you kind of stick with it. All right, coming into the master bedroom. You see, it's got a lot of nice windows over here. Big windows, letting in a lot of natural light. I'm pan around the room for you. So you can kind of see back towards the entrance there. Over here to this master closet. Closet closet space is always a big thing. In our house, I don't feel like we ever have quite enough of it. But nice closet. You can add another row of shelves if you so choose around the bottom. Give you two rows to hang from. Got your big mirror here to get dressed with. All the way down. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Should we go into the master bath? Should we? I mean, I've been thinking about it, but I don't know if y'all are ready for it yet. So let's see. What do you think? No? We ready? All right, let's go. Diving in. All right. Now I'm going to try not to get myself out of in the picture too much here. So you can not have to worry about seeing me too much. Nice linen stack cabinets right here as you come in the door into the bathroom. You got three cabinets. 
all the way down floor to ceiling almost as you bang the door on the wall. Got lots of cabinets underneath the sinks right here, drawer storage, black faucets, dark countertops, which looks amazing. And this tub right here, freestanding sucker tub, it's big. It's a lot bigger than people think it is until you actually see it and like I actually sit down in it. It is a really good size. Now I'm not going to get in the shower this time. I'm going to try to let you see it from kind of away. Because every time I've tried to do that, it does not work out for some reason. There's a big rain shower head. Faucet right there. Big open shower. So we we'll call it a party shower. Get all kinds of people in there. Throw all the kids in there at one time, wash them off, and send them on their way, you know. All right. Come back out of the master. One more view of it real quick. Come right back out into the main living room here. Guys, I really appreciate y'all sticking around, taking these tours with me, and tuning in. Uh, it really helps my page, um, it, you know, get the content out there. There's a lot of misinformation. A lot of people just don't know. And I just try to, I'm on a mission to kind of fix that for folks and that way they can get a good tour of a home, know what you're getting into when you're buying a manufactured home and be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button, leave me a comment in the, you know, in the, in the comments below the video and I'll put links and descriptions down there. And if you have questions, feel free to hit me up. Thanks again, guys. God bless. Hey guys. Thank you so much for sticking around and taking this tour with me today. If you'd like more information about this home, uh, be sure to leave me a comment below. I'll also leave a link in the description for you to be able to check out and follow it and look at more information about it. And I just wanted to say thanks again so much for all the uh, support I've been getting, all the comments and all the phone calls and stuff. Uh, people have been really, really awesome and and, uh, and trying to help support this channel. Um, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell up here for me. Um, that way we can get that content out there. Uh, I'm kind of on a mission to, to talk about stuff and, and highlight these homes in a way that uh, I've not really seen done before. Um, I see people talk about certain things, but they don't really highlight um, some of the key components. Um, I've been selling these homes for about um, almost eight years now. Um, so I've got a pretty good, pretty good feel for them. And I just trying to help people, um, you know, get the right information and know what you're getting into. Um, every home's different. Um, every builder's a little bit different. They all have their own kind of things that they do and don't do. Um, and I just wanted to kind of, you know, address those things for you to kind of help you understand what to expect when you're getting a home. But uh, like I said, guys, I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, I thank you for all your support and the time that you guys have spent with me. Um, be sure to, you know, come out and see me, shake my hand. I'd love to meet you, swap some stories with you. Uh, we'll have a good time. I promise you that. And you have to come out to the Bowling Green location. We're at 4420 Russellville Road, and that's in Bowling Green, Kentucky, 42101. Um, I'll leave it at the end of the video here for you so you can kind of access it and have a you know, a point of reference for you. Um, but be sure to come out here and see us. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.